Hello, my name is Dwayne Piper. I'm the Division Director of Information Technology here at the South Florida Water Management District. Today I'm really excited to introduce to you a new business intelligence and data analysis tool we are calling DB Hydro Insights. Insights completely modernizes access to the district's hydrologic and water quality database called DB Hydro. But as its new name implies, Insights does so much more. The district has collected data from manual readings to complex real-time data samplers for more than 70 years. Over that time, we have accumulated 3.5 billion instantaneous breakpoint hydrologic measurements, such as water levels, rainfall, gate openings, and pump speeds. Using this data, we have calculated 80 million daily values, such as average water levels and total sums of rainfall per day. Our water quality database is just as impressive with 8.5 million samples, such as nitrate, phosphate, ammonia, nitrogen, pH, chloride, just to name a few, all of which were quality reviewed in our state-of-the-art scientific labs here at the district. Our rainfall database is vast too, with over 1.1 billion radar-based measurements at 15-minute increments. We've summarized that data into 35 million daily values for average rainfall by county, basin, and watershed. You know Lake Okeechobee, or Big Water as its name means, is the largest lake in Florida. Some call it Florida's Inland Sea. We think our big data lake of 13 billion records is quite impressive too. Although we've provided access to our big data over the years, that has presented the public with a few challenges. For example, if you don't know our naming convention for our sites and structures, you could be lost easily. Or if you wanted to download data and correlate it together, you had to know something that we call a DB key. This DB key is our internal Coca-Cola secret formula. You might as well be in the matrix. So to get our data lake in the past, you had to have a guide. Although very useful for its time, it was complex, and not everyone could get the data to tell its story. But we've solved that for you today. We've created a map-based interface that's easy to use. And for those data lovers out there, we have masked our Coca-Cola secret formula so that all you get is a nice tasty beverage or the data that you're looking for in an easy to consume manner. We believe that just like Lake Okeechobee is an integral part of living in Florida, from the enjoyment of recreation use down to its critical function in Florida's ecosystem, that access to the district's data lake is just as impactful by putting it into everyone's hands. And we think we've done that with our DB Hydro Insights data analysis tool. Come on, let's take a closer look at Insights. Let's say you're interested in viewing the district's data, but you don't know the names of our structures or sites. For example, you think, I want to see what's going on around the lake. I heard the district recently launched a buoy in the middle of Lake Okeechobee somewhere, but I don't even know where that is. Well, let's open up DB Hydro Insights and see if we can find that buoy. Notice the beautiful map of Florida that appears. Using the search icon on the bottom of the map, we can select shape. This allows us to draw a shape around the area we are interested in, in this case, somewhere in the middle of the lake. So I know it's somewhere in the middle of the lake, right about here. The shape on the map allows us to identify the site you're interested in, and it is LZ40. Now we can view detailed data. Here we can see current rainfall and the historical average for that day. Scrolling down, we can see additional water quality data, and here we curate this information together with rainfall data into this chart. From here, you can do a lot of analysis work, all starting from that one area on the map. 
For example, before the district deployed the buoy, we had point data collected periodically. You can see that here on the chart. But now as you get to the end of the chart, you can see that we've started continuous monitoring. And of course, we have the data here to show. We'll see more of this powerful charting feature later. So the mapping feature of DB Hydro Insights is very powerful. But let's say you already do know the structure name that you're interested in. What you really want is to download the data. Do you need to know the DB key? No, not at all. Let's take a closer look at the Get Data feature that we call the Data Lens in DB Hydro Insights. So here's the DB Hydro Insights homepage once again. We're going to click this time on the structure icon and we see the map appears. But since we know the structure name, let's say G370, we can type that right into the search bar. Now we see even more detail emerges as the map automatically zooms into the area of interest. In fact, notice the directional arrows at each structure. At this point, we want more specific details. So after selecting view details, we really get into the nitty gritty about the site. We see that it has three pumps. In fact, one pump is running now at 720 RPM. And we can even view more pump detail using this tool. Scrolling down and looking to the right, we can see this area is chock full of information that is curated specifically to the site you selected. Here you can see flow information, the operational ranges, and the historic average, and even a sample of the water quality data. Let's keep scrolling down though to look closer at our data feature. Here we can look at current parameter conditions and monitored parameters. We get to see here the full power of one parameter in our Insights tool as we curate relevant data for you and bring it into a consolidated chart. This chart is the same feature we've already seen. No DB key is necessary. One parameter has done it all for you. Here you can view water quality or hydrologic data. We really think you're going to love this charting feature in Insights and many people are going to use it online to do their analysis. Still, other users want to get at that data. Well, we've listened and provided the Get Data tab as well. By selecting the sites or stations of interest, you can fine tune that and even save it to your favorites. Then you further define the data type you want, such as stage with the frequency either daily value or breakpoint or instantaneous. Then you finalize the date range of interest and the format you would like the data in. And we curate that data according to your selections. Look how the resulting file opens up in Excel, which is a very popular way that our users want to get their copy of our data. We find this tool is very powerful and we think you're going to love it. We think data scientists out there are really going to love the Get Data feature in our Insights data lens. And that's DB Hydro Insights powered by one parameter. We think you're really going to enjoy using this tool to unlock the story that's contained in the vast amounts of data available here at the South Florida Water Management District. So that's DB Hydro Insights a map-based analysis tool you can use to gain access to the vast amounts of hydrologic and water quality data we have here at the district. By using business intelligence against this vast big data lake, we have linked data sets together for you. Yes, the story of South Florida's ecosystem is captured in this data. With this new tool, you can free the data to tell its story. Oh, and there's one more thing. Since DB Hydro Insights is HTML5 compliant, it will work across all your digital platforms, including your mobile devices. We know you're going to enjoy using Insights on the go. Thank you.